Hello, Muroc families. Trevor Walker, Assistant Superintendent here. This week, I'll be real brief. There are two things I'm going to talk on, um, and then there'll be something special. So first, foremost, I want to say thank you to everyone. We really appreciate your, your patience and your understanding this year as we've gone through just the start of year struggles that are there every year, but also a lot of the new factors, such as opening Desert High School, new food service. We know there's been, been more than normal, for sure, and new traffic patterns, and we just we really can't thank you enough. If there are still concerns or issues that you believe there to be, please reach out to your site principal first and foremost. And as always, if you don't feel that you got an answer or you don't feel like the concern was addressed or resolved, feel free then to reach out to the district office and we're, we're happy to, to have a conversation with you, whether it's over the phone or come to the site and meet. Uh, we really we want to, to make sure that everyone is heard. Um, same if you have constructive criticism or even just a positive feedback on this worked really well. Uh, we really appreciate that. We, not, we like hearing uh, from the families and from the kids what's, uh, what's working well and what could use some improvement and what maybe didn't work at all. So uh, we just really want to thank you. The next thing and the, 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 I think, more exciting part of this week's video, every year at Branch Elementary, there is a rocket challenge. And the rocket challenge is between different classes and grades. And the way it works is the classes will build a model rocket, little Estes rocket. Um, they decorate it. They build banner. They make little banners. And then they launch those rockets. And they actually get to launch the rockets in the middle of Edwards Air Force Base, which is pretty cool to begin with. And then based on their design of their banner, of the rocket, uh, and most importantly, how high their rocket goes, uh, they get points and they can win. And this has been a tradition for many, many years. Um, I believe and hope it will continue on um, well beyond when I'm gone from the district. Uh, it's just, it's a cool, great tradition. This last year, uh, we finally got to be back and full and normal. And we actually had one of our staff uh, go ahead and record the event for us. Um, I'm gonna be honest and say, I think he did a much better job than I do recording videos every week. So. We wanted to show that off because it's a cool event, it's a great event, and we want to, to help everyone see the, the great things that happen in our district. Uh, we've talked in the past about trying to, we, we shifting our focus from really just the informative, especially as we went through the pandemic, to showing off. There's the things the district does to help uh, families see what we offer um, and make sure that if there's a, a cool opportunity that maybe you didn't realize or um, a cool program that perhaps is something you can seek out for your kid or your kid can seek out. So with that, I hope you enjoy the video. It'll be right after I finish speaking. Uh, it was, again, I just want to, want to put my appreciation out there and for the, for everyone who participated at the rocket challenge, think, um, we actually had real rocket scientists come out and help the kids. It's, it's just a great event with that. I hope you have a great week and more importantly, I hope you enjoy this video.